Congressman Brad Sherman of California says time's up for the Trump administration. Just hours ago, the California Democrat introduced articles of impeachment against President Trump in the House. Congressman Sherman said he introduced the articles in response to the recent news about Donald Trump Jr. and his meetings with that Russian lawyer. Impeachment, as you know, requires high crimes and misdemeanors to be proved. What are those? Congressman Sherman joins us tonight in the studio to explain. That was so fast. I mean, he's only been in office no, 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 no. seven months, and now he's going to be... I didn't file these in response to the, the emails. They further bolster it. But right. I circulated the, uh, these articles of impeachment a month ago, said I was going to consult with experts, did that for about three weeks, and Congress went on break. This is our first day back. Well, a month ago you are doing this. Well, then that, I mean, that's, that's the shortest administration on record. It didn't no, Harrison. But. Harrison. <laughs> no, but I mean, to be removed by Congress. So what are the high crimes that you believe the president should be convicted of? Obstruction of justice is defined by 1512b3 of the criminal law of the United States in two respects. Uh, most simply, he threatened Comey in order to get Comey to curtail the investigation of Flynn. That's obstruction of justice, and it lines up per perfectly with the code section and with the cases that have defined it. Secondly, he fired Comey and then said that his reason or that the effect was to uh, curtail or thwart the investigation into the general Russia matter. And of course, in the last couple of days, we've learned how important that Russia matter was. I guess that's you just undercut your own argument, though, didn't you? Because in order to obstruct justice, you have to obstruct justice. And in fact, the investigation continued Highly unabated. Ineffective obstruction of justice is a crime. If you threaten an FBI uh, officer and say, uh, you better not go forward or I'm going to do this or that, and the FBI officer uh, just laughs it off, um, that's still obstruction of justice. But that's not what happened. I mean, the president didn't say, end this investigation or I'll fire you. He said, you'd like to, you'd like to keep your job, and I'm telling you that uh, I want you to drop this investigation. But those two. Uh, where did he say? I don't. I, don't I mean, I followed this kind of closely. I don't remember him tying his he request. He didn't tie. I mean, to drop the investigation pe to people, Comey keeping pe his pe job. People aren't stupid. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, if this is the basis of an impeachment trial, th there's no. Do you have the missing link between those two things that we haven't seen? Well, he uh, knew that Comey wanted to keep his job. Comey knew that he could be fired at any time. Right. And he told Comey to drop the investigation or to curtail it or to slow walk it. Right. But he didn't actually say what you said he said. I mean, that's not well, actually I put true. Together, yes, he did say that, but he said it at two different times. I put together what he said in one occasion with what else. Even if he So it's sort of a pastiche. He didn't, even, he didn't, he he didn't, didn't, didn't even need okay. to have the first, the, the, the first <laughs> conversation. When, for, uh, in order to protect a friend, right. protect himself, he instructs the FBI director to drop or curtail an investigation of a close associate like Michael Flynn, that is obstruction of justice. Okay. And I mean, doubt look, it, well, look, we've been through this section. a million times on this show, and I, and I, mm -hmm. you know, I know your point on this, and I respectfully disagree. Mm -hmm. But I guess the larger question is, why are you doing this? He's not, he's, of course, he's not going to be impeached in this congressional term, knowing what we know now. So what would be the point of doing this? Well, it can have either of two effects. Uh, the hope is that it triggers an investigation, a, a, an intervention in the White House, and this is a faint hope, that his staff is finally able to say, now it's real articles, and for that and for so many other reasons, Mr. President, you've got to stop announcing reversals in foreign policy at four in the morning in 140 characters. You've got to stop uh, 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 making foreign policy in complete ignorance of the facts. Wait, so uh, you're, you're impeaching him so he'll stop tweeting? Uh, my hope is that we end incompetent, impulsive government. If that happens... Is this really... No, but come on. I mean, look, I'm against incompetent, impulsive government mm -hmm. by anyone. Right. But I mean, you're a, a savvy, long-serving mm -hmm. member of Congress. If that was really your concern, why mm -hmm. not try and help? If you, if you impeach him or try to impeach him, it's just going to come up the gears more. Less will get done. Fewer clear-minded decisions will be made. You know that that's true. So if your real concern is good government, this is kind of the opposite this, of what you'd be doing. This, what's needed, and, and look, this is unlikely to happen, but again and again, people close to Trump have tried to sit him down and tried to get him to be competent. If he's competent, then the fact that he obstructed justice will be ignored by the Republican majority, 
and there he will not be impeached. But that's a little cr I mean, you really think Trump's going to say, you know, Ryan's Primus has come in and asked me not to tweet my daughter, my son-in-law, but whoa, Brad Sherman no, this of Los Angeles one, is against it. No, no, no. So I'm stopping. No. This is one more element, and he's not going to do it for me or because I suggest it. They need to convince him that his presidency is at risk. And I think that if he continues this style of government for six months, eight months more, it will be at risk. But, I mean, it's not the only thing at risk. I mean, the Democratic Party has lost everything. Its, mm -hmm. its losses are historic in mm -hmm. their scale. And this stuff, focusing on Trump the man, on his tweeting, on his character, you know, you may or may not have a case, but it hasn't worked for you. It's not speaking to the actual needs of voters, and that's demonstrable in election well, I results. I want to come on your show and talk about how terrible Trump care is and how we have to preserve Obamacare, but you didn't invite me on the show to talk Actually, about that. Actually, I think that's a really... But that's not what Democrats are spending their time doing. That's what I spend my time doing. I just don't get on your Ooh, show, so just it doesn't count. <laughs> I no, snuck so on it's, your show to talk about how It's my fault that you're in, trying to impeach the President of the United States because I haven't asked you to come on and talk about health care? No. <laughs> but if the argument is that this okay. is distracting from the Democratic message, I'd say no because the Democratic message doesn't get across I would on say the show. argument is there is no Democratic message of there any is kind other than Trump message. is bad. And that is okay. that we need to repair Obamacare yep. and not repeal and replace it. That is our message on health care. That is your message. All right. We'll see. You did come on to talk about it. I still don't know what that means, but it's great to see you. Good to see you. Anyway.